Welcome back, everybody. We're getting ready to go get groceries, straightening up the refrigerators before we leave. We have this whole pound of strawberries. I'm gonna transfer it to a glass jar real quick. Do y'all hear the chicks out there chirping away? <laughs> They are very excited out there today. The strawberries keep longer if you put them in a glass jar and uh, you don't wash them first. You just put them in here and then you wait until you're ready to eat them before you wash them. And they last a lot longer this way. This is one of the pounds we just got from Ingles the other day when we made that strawberry upside down cake. They had them on sale for two, I think they were 238 a pound. So I went ahead and got an extra one. Okay, this stuff right here is leftovers that are still good, so I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna combine them into all into one thing, cause it's, this is chicken strips that we made for lunch one day. This is some fried potatoes. They can go in a thing together. And then this is leftover pork chops that we'll just have with whatever I make for supper tonight. All right, we are ready. Yeah, I'm gonna need to rotate eggs when we get back too because I'm getting really full over here. So we'll get these washed. Yeah, we'll get these washed and put in the refrigerator and transfer these over here. Miss Turkey's been on her job again, hadn't she? I think, I thought we had another double yolk, this one maybe. No, I don't think any of these are double yolks this time. Maybe she'll give us a double today. She lays in the afternoons. All right, you ready to go? Let's get your coat. Here we come, Aldi. Okay. And Ingles, we're going by Ingles too. It smells like spring out here. Doesn't feel as warm as spring should yet, but it smells like it. I can't get it out by myself. Okay, don't need my help anymore. Oh look, they know where to go. All these signs first. We have some pretty signs here. These are $12.99. Pretty beaded garland, $6.99. And then they have these candles, peach, rose, and violet. Honeysuckle, oh wow, ooh. <laughs> this coconut one smells really good. These wreaths are really pretty with the bicycles. They are $19.99. They also have that one that says welcome. I was looking for this and it's the last one. It's a spring doormat. They're $6.99. And this one says, love you a whole bunch. And it has carrots. What? They also have that one that has carrots too. Now I'm trying to decide which one I want. Any, many. I'm going to go with this one. It's only $6.99. Those are $8.99. They have rug grips, a little rug pad. That's neat. They're $4.99. Also these little rug tabs. Farmhouse pictures. These are really pretty. They have like a gray this teal color and black. They're $16.99. Sparkling water and soda maker, $44.99. Electric griddles, $24.99. 10 and a half by 20. Some kitchen rugs, they have a lemon. There's no place like home, flowers. They're $6.99. And then they have these really pretty stock pots, Dutch ovens, kettles, mini Dutch ovens. This utensil set is marked down to $7.99. Farmhouse butter dish for $9.99. They have serving trays that match the pots. They are $14.99. Oh, and they have matching kitchen towels. Lemons, oh my goodness, I just spotted some lemon kitchen towels. <laughs> the kitchen towels are two packs for $4.99. Lemon tablecloths, $12.99. They're 100% uh, cotton. <laughs> they have kids umbrellas for $4.99. They have some mug trees, holds up to four mugs. They are $14.99. Sink dispensers for dish soap, lotion, men's packable rain jacket. That's pretty neat. And they have ladies. Yeah, $14.99. Belgian chocolate Easter cookies. They have these reversible chair pads. I'm not sure how much they are. But on this side, you have the white and yellow straps. Over here, lemons, what? Then they have the flower ones. Man, you can match your whole kitchen with those pots and trays and pillows and tablecloths. These welcome signs. I can't remember how much these are either. This one says welcome with some bumblebees. Oh, isn't that lovely? This side says welcome to our home. The other side says go away. 
depends on what kind of mood you're in that day, you know. Just every morning go out there and flip the sign around for however you're feeling. They have some of these pantry organizers again. The Lazy Susan Wedges. Cheese and caramel mix. I'm not sure I would want those mixed. I don't know. They look good separate, but I don't know about together. These Snyder's pretzel pieces, hot buffalo wing, are marked down to $2.39. What's the first thing on the list? Oh, they have a spicy ranch. I've never seen that before. We're gonna give that a try. The kids and Titus don't like the Aldi salad dressings, but I thought it was fine, so I'm gonna try that spicy ranch. That's the only one I see of it. We still have oranges at home, and we need some lemons, but these lemons are so gigantic. I'm just gonna wait until we get the Ingles to get regular sized lemons. I think we'll get bananas at Ingles too, because yeah, we'll get those at Ingles too. <laughs> Grapes here are $1.49 a pound, but Ingles has them on sale this week for 98 cents a pound, so we're gonna get those there too. Pink Lady apples though are only $2.99 for these three pound bags. We'll get some of these. We need a pineapple. Tomatoes. Tomatoes, are they on the list? Yeah. I saw that we have strawberry cream cheese in the other refrigerator, so we're gonna get some bagels. Do y'all want blueberry bagels or plain bagels? Plain. Plain? Instead of blueberry? Okay. <laughs> One of y'all told me that the scorpion pepper Gouda cheese is really good, so we're gonna give it a try. They have some Lando Lake spreads here. Honey, every little thing, and cinnamon sugar. Peanut butter bunnies, chocolate eggs, chocolate eggs with spoons. Let's get them. These little chocolates are really good, y'all. Chocolate truffle eggs. The peppermint is finally gone. We're safe. We are safe to walk past the ice cream section now. <laughs> okay, Jonah wants to know. Yep, they still have them, Jonah. The Pepper Jack Field pretzel bites. He really liked those. They also have just regular cheddar field this time. Okay, y'all, we finished up in Aldi. The car wash is right beside it, so we came through the car wash real quick. I was gonna do that before, but I forgot. So we went through there and just did a really quick vacuum. Now I'm gonna update my list because a few of the things that I was gonna get in Aldi, either they didn't have or when I looked at the price, I actually think Ingles might be cheaper on some things, especially with what they have on sale right now. So I need to update my Ingles list. I think milk is cheaper at Ingles. It was $3.11 or $3.19 in Aldi, so I'm gonna look at Ingles and see. Trash bags, I had written down that they're on sale for $3.98 at Ingles. They were almost $6 in Aldi for, you know, about the same kind. So go get those at Ingles. I think we're ready. List is updated. We're ready to go. Mangoes are on sale for 68 cents each. These three packs of popcorn are on sale for $1.88. It's a good price. I checked Walmart. They just have the six packs there, but they're like five something. And these chicks are chirping like crazy out here. Look at the size of those ducks, y'all. They are now bigger than their water. <laughs> than their water thing, look at them. They got excited because we were back home. Okay, we'll start with the Aldi stuff first. I didn't need a lot of stuff this week. Mostly, I just got what was on sale and, you know, anything that I was out of. Since I've been buying the meat markdowns at Ingles, I'm not really having to buy any meat each week you know, unless it's marked down. So that works out great. If you can find good meat markdowns, then you're never really having to pay full price for it. You just meal plan based on whatever you got that was marked down. Anyway, yeah, we'll start with the Aldi stuff first. So I got some celery, tomatoes, carrots, peppers, cantaloupe, kiwi, pink lady apples, spinach, and 
potatoes, and pineapple. That's all the produce stuff that I got from Aldi. I did get some produce from Ingalls too because, you know, either it was cheaper there this week or I just didn't like the way it was looking at Aldi. Cheese, two blocks of mild cheddar, and these cheese cubes were on sale. Can't remember for how much, but they were on sale cheaper than the block. So we got those because I love to have cheese cubes for salads and you know that some people love cheese for a snack, don't they? So we got those and I got this scorpion pepper gouda to try. I'm really excited to try this because I love spicy stuff anyway. I just didn't know about this scorpion pepper, but y'all said it's really good. So we're gonna try it. I got some gouda sliced cheese. And more cheese. More cheese, yeah. I got some of these little chocolate bunnies, y'all. These chocolates are so good. I'm trying my best to think of what brand of chocolate I'm thinking about. I cannot even think of it. I'll pop it up here on the screen if I think of it, but yeah, they're really, really good. They just like, Dove, Dove, I just remembered it. The Dove chocolates, they're like those. They just like, I don't know, they're they wonderful. They're bunnies. so smooth. Yeah, they're bunnies. And we got these things. What are those? Um, um they're good. They're what? They're good. They're good, yeah. What? Cinnamon rolls. Yeah. Yeah. What about these, are these good? Um, yeah. Two boxes of the Chewy Dip granola bars. These are good, y'all. Back here, I got some of those pretzel slims and some of the spicy kettle cooked chips. I can't remember if we've tried the Clancy's pretzel slims before, but we like the little, you know, whatever the name brand are. I can't even remember what they are, but they're good. So we got those. They also had a everything pretzel flavor too. All right, we got some peppers, hot sauce. Jonah and Titus were asking for Texas Pete the other day. So we got that. Got the spicy ranch dressing, ketchup. I got some sugar, apple juice, the carrot mat. I'm just, I love carrots this year, y'all. What? I don't know. I'm just loving some carrots. We got some more of these pretzel bites with the pepper jack cheese. Jonah really loved those. The other kids liked them okay, but Jonah really liked them. And we got two pounds of sausage. They still don't have any hot. Went ahead and got two pounds of the regular. We have bagels, some bread, kitchen towels. I did get the lemon and the yellow kitchen towel set. Then I just got some dish detergent, laundry detergent, and some multi-purpose cleaner. Now, Jonah and Manly also got umbrellas. Sissy still has her umbrella that we got from Aldi probably last year. Here's hers, she got it out when we got home. I'm pretty sure it's been a year ago. I think that that's when they bring out the umbrellas and stuff is right around springtime. The hearts change color, you know, when they get wet. Jonah had one, his got messed up, so he got another one. This one has dinosaurs. Yeah, Jonah's has dinosaurs and Manly's, I has love. alligators. It has alligators on it. I love clear umbrellas, I just love them because you can see the rain dropping on them. All right, onto the English stuff everything over here just about everything was on sale that's what I've been doing at Ingles just shopping the sales and the markdown meats I got two packs of Oscar Mayer hot dogs they're on sale this week three for eight but I just got two at Ingles you don't have to buy the like you get it for the price of three for eight even if you just get one pack same thing with buy one get one free you get it for the for half price pretty much you don't have to get you know two to get the sale price so we got those. This was on sale a little bit, but not an extreme sale, but I needed some turkey or something for sandwiches, so we got that. Got some bacon. This was also on sale. I think it was $4.99 for the 16 ounce pack. Not a lot of great meat markdowns today, but it was later, you know, than I normally go. If you really want the good meat markdowns, you gotta get there probably about an hour or so after they open. But we did find some drumsticks, and they also had beef ribs marked down, but we still have some of those in the freezer that we haven't even eaten yet so I decided to pass on those because they were marked down but it wasn't great so anyway I got four packs of these drumsticks they were all around three dollars a pack and there are eight per pack I got two gallons of milk and like I said I thought that it was cheaper than Aldi but it must have been Walmart that I saw I'm pretty sure I saw milk somewhere the other day for only like $2.89 or $2.98, which, you know, $3.11 isn't much more than that. But anyway, I got two gallons of milk. Trash bags, those were cheaper than at Aldi because they were on sale this week for $3.98. I was out of coffee, so I got this New England Coffee Donut Shop blend. I don't think I've, I've tried this brand before with the Blueberry Cobbler, which is really good, but I don't think I've ever tried their Donut Shop blend. I've been using Folgers mostly, but Folgers was not on sale, and this was, so 
that's what I'm trying. These Hot Pockets were on sale, and I did price check at Walmart. They are cheaper at Ingles than Walmart right now because they're on sale, and they're new. These are the big and bold. So this one is double pepperoni and steak nacho. Jacob likes to take stuff to eat for when he takes his break at work, and I thought this would be something different for him to try and play. And Tyler absolutely loves like the Great Value Hot Pockets from Walmart. So I thought I'd see if they like these. That steak nacho one looks really good. <laughs> these pickles were not on sale. I was actually gonna get the Famous Dave's ones again, but these were cheaper and I like these Wickle pickles too. So <laughs> I got those. These Cheez-It Puffed. Uh, we got these a couple of weeks ago when it's like they're on sale for the whole month at Ingles, I think. I think it's a monthly deal, yeah. For only $2.50. These are really good. Okay, Rotel was on sale for 98 cents. That's cheaper than Walmart at Walmart. I price checked it. They're like $1.24, I think, or $1.20. So I got two milds and two original. We got some onions, lemons, cucumbers. This was one of the things, like the lemons and the cucumbers. The ones at Aldi, the lemons are huge, y'all. They're almost as big as these mangoes. And I just wanted some normal size ones, so we got those. And the cucumbers at Aldi were all kind of mushy this week, the big ones and the mini ones. So we got some of these mini ones from Ingles. Bananas. Grapes were only 98 cents a pound, so cheaper than Aldi this week. We got some of those. Popcorn, these were on sale for $1.88. And I think I was telling y'all about it in the store, but I price checked at Walmart. They only had the six packs, and they were like right around $6 or so. So for six packs of the movie theater butter popcorn. But at Ingles this week, they're on sale for $1.88 a pack. So two of those comes out cheaper than the six pack at Walmart. And the last things we got were cereal. Pretty sure the Frosted Flakes is a monthly deal for $2.98. And then the Raisin Bran was on sale this week for two, I think $2.48, $2.50, something like that. And that's it. All right, I'm gonna get all this stuff put away and then we have to go back to town. It's been a busy few weeks around here. Titus is also going to get that one last cow today that's still in the woods over at that school. By the time we get back home, it'll be time to cook supper. Mm -hmm. 